President Duterte went off on several issues in just one speech on Wednesday. As expected, he defended his administration's war on illegal drugs. And in the process, he did admit committing one sin. Let's find out what that is from Maricel Halili. Commercial rice prices have been hitting the clouds for several months now. While the Food Council blames the problem on supply woes, President Duterte, on the other hand, blames the issue on an entirely different phenomenon. He just might be kidding, of course. Alam mo bakit payat yan sila? Hindi na sila kumakain. And they keep on grinding the teeth nga. Parang sa dream. Nga nga nga, pag kung anak niyong sige ganun, si Red Flag. Ngayon na marami na nang narehab, kaya tayo nagkaroon ng rice crisis. Kumakain ang mga... Still on illegal drugs, the president once again defended his government's war against the illicit trade. And in the process, he made a startling admission. Ako, I will talk to a political exercise now. What are your sins? Ako, sabi ko sa military, anong, anong kasalanan ko? Nagnakaw ba ako dyan? Ni piso? Tino. Did I prosecute somebody na pinapinakulong ko? Ang kasalanan ko lang, yung mga extrajudicial killing. Whether this is a joke or not is something the president only knows. But he made a comment as he was slamming Senator Kiko Pangilinan, who penned the juvenile justice welfare law. That raised the age of criminal liability to 15 years old. But the president didn't just get Pangilinan. He also trained his sights on UN High Commissioner Zaid Ra'ad al Hussein, who once said that Duterte might need to undergo psychiatric exam. So, ano mong sabi ng King of Jordan? Do not mind that brother, he's... Ay, toto! Ay, medyo. I don't even like him. He's a fake. Sinabi ko, bakit hindi mo sinabi, King Lee? Sinampal ko sana mo. He also hit foreign organizations that want to investigate his administration. Totoo yung magpunta-punta dito, mga ano, imbistari mo siya. Ang gawain ko, ma'am, ganun ako ng tubig. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Moving on to the issue of the alleged plots to topple his government, Duterte reiterated there is no need for one since he's ready to step down. Gusto ko lang malaman ninyo na at one time, I really offered to resign before the armed forces and the, uh, the police in a Yung unahan ko sabi ko, gusto ninyo, all you have to do is to stand up and I'm ready to go. It's not, uh, of course there will be a fight if I refuse, but for what? For News 5, Maricel Halili, we are One News.